This video is kindly sponsored by Hobby. I look a little bit like I came from the 1800s with my bangs out and my hair all up in twisties. But anyway, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Bash Harry and this is the Harry Knit. We do a lot of things crafty here. So please subscribe if you are interested. And I think you are interested because you're here, which thank you again for tuning in. We've got a little bit of a yarn haul and I know that um, in the last video I said I wouldn't, but Hobby sent me a few things, a few yarn acquisitions. So Hobby sent me a big yarn haul and I'm so excited. I haven't opened it yet because I'm, I was waiting to film this video uh, so I could kind of give you, sorry for the crinkles, I could give you like my full reaction and even do some swatches to show you guys what yarns I got and how they knit up. Uh, so that is the plan for this video. I am really, really excited. I got some of their new yarns on their website and I also got some very good oldies that I would recommend uh, that I've been scrolling through their website. So hopefully this video is not only informational, but it's also, you know, really fun and exciting and all the things that make me happy. <laughs> so if you're interested to watch, then please just keep on watching. All the products that are listed in this video is available at the Hobby website which has so much yarn and other cool knickknacks. Some stuff like crochet hooks, needles, stitch markers, and so much more. Hobby ships to a wide array of countries like the UK, the USA, Canada, New Zealand, and of course Europe because they are based in Denmark. If you're interested, also do check out Hobby Plus and you can sign up for only 7.99 euros a month and that includes three free plus patterns per month, double the points on each order, and 10% off of your regular priced items. You also get extra candy in your order, which I absolutely love. Thanks so much again, Hobby, for sponsoring this video, and let's get back to the haul. This is so big and heavy, and I didn't realize how big and heavy it would be when it got um, sent to me. So let's just open it up. I'm just gonna use my finger, because I don't have my scissors. <sighs> Immediately, just color attacking my face Ooh, okay let us start with the bell of the ball let's start with their hobby glitter delight i'm so scared of taking it out Ooh, we have their glitter hobby delight in the color i think this is sunset come on zoom in there we go I'm gonna put this down for a bit. So the first thing I opened up, two, four, six. This is also Glitter Delight. The first thing that I'm opening up is their Hobby Glitter Delight. This one is in the shade, I think, Sunset, which looks so beautiful. Do you see that? Come on, zoom in. Yes. This one, like they said, it's the color of the sunset. It's got red, yellows, blues, greens, almost very um, bold rainbow color, I would say. And I wanted something that was very colorful, very bright. This one is 49% cotton, 50% acrylic, and 1% polyester. It uses seven millimeter hook if you guys crochet or six millimeter hooks needles if you knit and this looks like a very chunky yarn i'd say iran or slightly bigger than iran and i think the threading is just so unique do you see that so it's got like this mix of white cotton acrylic color and then we also got this kind of gold just running through and i think that's the polyester and it's plied kind of like this, I want to say twisted look to it. And I've got about eight of this. Yeah, it says it's bulky, so it is bulky yarn. 
and I am thinking of making a very nice sweater out of this. I've been talking a lot about how I've just started getting into uh, creating my own patterns just to kind of figure it out as I go along. And one thing that I really want to do with this, because they said it has such nice definition, is that it would look so nice with like a very knitted uh, sweater, basically. Kind of like this one, but this one's thrifted. Uh, but very oversized, nice look to it, which I'm super excited. <laughs> This one is in the color Sunset, but we also got, this one is in number one, this one is in Sunset. No wait, this one is in Pastel Rainbow, and you can see, like, it's just so nice and pastel -y. I personally love um, really bright colors, but like what I wear on a regular basis would be like very soft, very muted colors. So this one compared to this one are so different. If you wanted one that's like super bright, I would say go with the sunset. But if you wanted something that was kind of similar in the way that it is rainbow, this one would be so cute. I'm really excited to see how it swatches up. I want to do it for each of them. This one is also their pastel rainbow, but you can see that it's a little different. This one has more purples and pinks. So those are the glitter delights. They are super bulky, super cute. I keep no <laughs> count the number of times I say cute in this video. Take a drink every time you do it. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is so cute. I did want to get two different ones because if I do decide to knit a sweater up with this, I want to see how it looks like in a similar color. Um, or similar yarn, or the same yarn, of course, but I want it to be in different colors, obviously, just so it could photograph well. Maybe make one for myself and make one for uh, someone else. Probably my partner, uh, if he ever wore sweaters. I'll probably force him to wear sweaters. Hello, it's voiceover bash here. So I'm starting off with trying to take off like the middle end of the ball it just came out looking like yarn vomit to be honest but afterwards once i got the hang of it i decided to start casting on about 22 stitches i usually don't do the garter stitch borders anymore but i wanted to try it with this yarn because i was pretty curious to see how it would look like i think with the way that the yarn is tied kind of like a loosely plied with some thread to wrap around it the stitches that came out were really defined, but also kind of bumpy. So it gave this really interesting texture that I've never really seen in another yarn or even fiber before. And I thought that was really cool. For this yarn specifically, I did cast on using seven millimeter needles because that was what was recommended. And it did turn out pretty well. I think if I would have done this again, I would have definitely tried winding the yarn up into a cake first before I started, but that is how it went. I just did a very basic gauge swatch, but overall I think it looked really, really nice. If I could recommend something for this, a scarf would actually be really cute in this, like a brioche knit scarf, but for me personally, I don't really have a need for scarves, so for me personally, I think I would go for a very, very oversized sweater with some holes to emphasize the really cute texture of this. The next thing that I got... This is a mess and I'm so sorry. The next thing that we got here is also new from them and it is the Panatone, which is 87% cotton, 7% polymade, and 6% metallic fiber. And I got this in the color Rose. We've got, I think, seven balls of these little baddies. It's 50 grams for 120 meters and this one is in the weight light but i think that's more like a dk weight and it's so unique just look at the way that it stripes the way that it's connected i'd say is that the word connected the way that it looks there's such a shimmer to it and the fibers um 
what do you call this? It's kind of like an I-cord or like a stitch look to it. And it's knitted with thin. I'm so curious to see how this knits. I'm so curious to see how this knits up. I don't know if you can tell, but kind of looks a little bit like this. And the metallic fibers <laughs> and the little metallic fibers that goes all around gives it this really cute, cute again, it gives this really nice texture to it. I think something like this, obviously you can make a hat with it. I think it would be so cute as a bucket hat, but I'm curious to see how it looks as like a summer garment. I think with the summer garment, if you make it into a top, then it would kind of like, the finish would be so pretty with the metallic. I very rarely see metallics in my yarn, so I'm really excited to work with this as well. Kind of similar to the Glitter Delight with the gold flex. This one has more of a silver though. This one uses 4.5 millimeter needles with 21 stitches by 29. So this is about, I would say, a DK. This is also another yarn vomit kind of yarn, but I actually really like when it comes out looking like it. I know it's kind of messy and some knitters might not like it, but I personally do. Um, for this specific yarn, I actually, I'm not gonna lie, once I finished this video, I immediately started casting on for a rib top. So I'm still working on that pattern, but in this video, I'm doing just a basic stockinette gauge swatch. This yarn is so pretty. Even my mom complimented on it. I think it's the colors. It's pink and purple and a little bit of metallic silver mishmashed together. And working with it is actually very smooth because of the cotton. Not only that, I think the kind of fiber is not that itchy, which is good if you do have sensitive skin, but I can see why someone with maybe more sensitive skin like those with asthma or drier textures might not like it as much so I would recommend wearing something inside just in case um, because of the metallic silver into the pattern. I'd say this is a pretty light DK yarn. It's not a heavy DK. It's definitely more on the fingering side which is why I use 3.5 or even 4.5 millimeters when you're working with this not the pattern yarn i don't know why i said pattern <laughs> but anyway i did really like working up with this i think when it comes to working with needles i do like using these wooden ones just because it's more smoother for me personally when i'm working with this kind of yarn i am making a rib top with this specific yarn because it's so light and the textures within the yarn is just so pretty to work up I think when it comes to a more textured design, whether it's like a linen stitch or a rib stitch or even like fisherman's rib, I think this detail would be so, so pretty. But that's just me talking. I really love yarns with really unique textures just because I think it's so cute. And just for the knitter, whoever wants to see the different details in it, the metallics just give it this really nice finish to it. Those are the latest collections on their website, so please do check it out. But I also got two more of their yarns, uh, which I requested because I've seen a lot of people use them and I'm really curious to see how they would knit up. So let's talk about some more. We've got their Hobby Davina, 65% baby alpaca, 25% polymade, and 10% merino wool. And she is a fluffy girl. She's fluffy. Ignore the little cracks and rips. It's not their fault. It's definitely because of shipping. It's always shipping. The one that I got is in natural white. Woo. So this one here is in natural white and the reason why I chose natural white is I don't have a lot of white in my yarn collection so I thought you know what why not try out the Davina 
white because I heard such good things about it on Ravelry and from YouTubers here on the YouTube sphere. This one uses four to 5.5 millimeter needles and it is four, it's a four weight yarn. So I'm guessing that's about like also worsted or like heavy DK I'd say. This is 50 grams, 150 meters, which is 164 yards. We've got about six here, because I'm thinking of making a very cute sweater with this. Look at that. Wow, it's upside down, it's upside down. It's so fluffy, you can see the little fluff going all around it. I'm curious to see how it would knit up. I actually would like to mix this with another um yarn although i'm not sure what kind yet i have like an idea in my head because i don't know about you but i kind of miss cold weather i miss feeling warm in like a really thick sweater i haven't done i haven't been in cold weather in a very 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 long time so if you are going into the colder months, I'd say somewhere around September or October, you know, fall into winter, I think this would be really, really great, especially since this is alpaca and merino wool. Merino wool is so amazing. Like I can just talk about how much I love merino because it's great for the summer, it's great for winter, it's just an all around great sort of wool or fiber to work with. The first thing that comes into mind when I was working with Davina was the fluffiness. It was just so fluffy and that's probably because it has a little bit of alpaca into it. So I did a very basic stockinette gauge swatch as well like the others, though this one I did use smaller needles because I didn't have any of the larger ones at hand and I think that made the gauge a little bit off than what it said in the pattern or at least in the informational card. That being said, this yarn did come out pretty smoothly. I wish I chose a different color though, cause sometimes white is a little difficult when you wanna count the stitches. So be mindful of that. I personally chose the off-white because I did not have any um, white in my stash, at least not enough for me to make a sweater, which is what I would recommend with this yarn. Because it is so fluffy though, I would recommend this for more I wouldn't say this is the best for like textured products because I think with the fluffiness it's not going to be seen but a very basic stockinette sweater would do just so beautifully with this. I also think this yarn would be really great to make some hats with it. I just think it would look really, really cute. Just be mindful of the gauge, of course, because like I said, with smaller needles, I didn't quite get the gauge. So I would actually recommend sizing up just in case. But you could see how small it is compared to the rest, even though I did cast on the recommended stitches for the gauge. Everything's falling apart like my life. <laughs> and the final thing I got right here, I've never worked with tweed before, but now I'm really excited. It is their Hobby Tweed Delight. 85% wool, 10% acrylic, 5% viscose. Looks like this. I got it in the shade Dijon, I think. And it does have this kind of honey mustard <laughs> look to it. I don't know how else to describe color. It looks like food to me. This looks like something I can eat. Don't eat it though. <laughs> but it has these white and black flecks that's going on with the shape. Not the shape, the yarn. And it's super, super cute. This one is in the color Dijon, like I said, and it is about 100 meters for 50 grams and uses 4.5 to 5 millimeter needles. I think this is something that's really great to knit up with and I'm so excited to try it out. When I think of tweed, I think of vests. I don't know why, but I think of really pretty cable knit sweater vests that are so cute and preppy, but then has a little bit of an edge to it, which I really like. I am so curious to see how this knits up. 
liked how the swatches up. I'm back. Sorry, that was my mom. <laughs> anyway, where were we? I need to start organizing my yarn. There's quite a lot on my table right now. But yeah, anyway, Tweed Delight, so cute, so pretty. I do want to make a very nice cable vest with this. I think it would just be so nice. Plus with the little black and white flakes, I think the texture, it'll just add a bit more to the texture that I'm really looking for, especially when it comes to vests. Um, I'm kind of in like a slipover slash vest area in my life right now. I kind of want to make more of them. I think I have like two in my closet now, so what's wrong with having a third one? <laughs> especially in this very beautiful mustard color. My go-to colors are usually yellows, blues, pinks, whites, very soft tones. Uh, although I don't know if I'd call this soft, it's definitely way more saturated. I'm not gonna lie, this is probably my favorite color out of the bunch. Just the colorway is so beautiful. This is in the color Dijon. Um, which is a very fitting name because it looks like mustard with some black and white flecks into it. I've personally never worked with a tweed kind of yarn before, but I can see why that they're so popular just because of the textures that come with it. It is so beautiful and I really love the specs. This yarn is definitely on the thicker side since it is a worsted weight yarn. It is 50 grams. That totals to about 109 yards or 100 meters, which I think is pretty standard for European yarn. <laughs> I think I also use five millimeter needles here and I got the gauge just right, which is perfect compared to Davina. For yarn like this, I definitely think a vest would be absolutely beautiful in this shade and the fiber because it is wool and viscose, it will have that warmth that you're looking for for the fall and winter, specifically more on the fall side. If you do want to make a sweater in this yarn though, I definitely recommend getting more than enough. So at least 10, maybe 11 if you're on the larger sizes, just because with working this kind of yarn, you never really know, or at least I personally don't know, especially since I'm still figuring out my sweater quantities. In addition to the yarn, they also have such cute products on their shop, on their website, and they sent me some things. Oh my god, you're so cute! They got me two notebooks. <gasps> it's dotted. I don't know about you, but like, I am a sucker for dotted notebooks. I journal basically every day. I'm a journaler, I'm a writer, so I realize what kind of books I like, and I like them dotted, I like them cute, and this is so pretty. I want to start using this as like my knitting journal. I, I'm currently using another book, and that one I think bleeds a little bit, so I'm really excited to use the journals. These are so cute! They also sent me some little nice buttons to add to any sweater, any cardigan, any vest that I'm looking to make. These are crystal buttons, 12 millimeters. Ah, I'm gonna add this to my button collection. <laughs> anyway, that is about it for me. If you're watching this, thank you so much and please do check out Hobby. If you like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys next week or so with another video and yeah that is about it thank you for watching my little haul yes okay my name is bash harry this is the harry knit and i'll see you later bye start your computations